Ugh. Oh, Christ, you're ugly. No, not you. Oh. What's up, Funkheads? Welcome to another random Funko Pop unboxing. This time I have two from eBay, one from a fellow YouTuber, and one from Walgreens, which is definitely the wild card because I've never ordered from them, so I have no idea how they ship their pops. My expectations are low because I usually have a negative experience with trying to find pops at Walgreens. If by some miracle I do find one of their exclusives, it's usually trashed. I'm sure it's the customers trashing them most of the time, but the way that Walgreens displays them isn't the best. They have them on a low shelf where children can reach them. They tend to put other stuff on top of them. It's just a very bad way to display a collectible where the packaging matters. Which makes me feel that they probably don't train their shipping staff how to properly send out the pops. I'm sure it's not that big of a revenue source for them. So I'm crossing my fingers that Walgreens isn't one of these companies that somehow figure out a way to destroy mint boxes when they take them out of the Funko shipment boxes and transfer them into their own, be it by their shipment employees just grabbing them too tightly and crushing the boxes, wrapping them too tightly in bubble wrap and then crushing the boxes when they close the box flaps on them, or just throwing them loosely into a box, kind of like Toys R Us does. And since I went on way longer than I expected to about Walgreens, I'm going to start with that one first. All right, as you can see, not surprising, they do just the big bubbles on one side and then put the box on the other. Thank goodness this box didn't take any big hits because that would have crushed this. And it looks pretty okay. Um, yeah, wasn't expecting to get pretty much a mint box from Walgreens. That said though, they did, I mean, this was a little bit of luck because any hit on this side, on this side of this box, would have damaged this pop. So, luckily he's okay and I'm glad because this is one of the coolest pops I've seen in a while. I'm going to take him out. This is Clone Commander Cody when they gave Order 66. And this pop looks pretty excellent out of the box. Lots of interesting little details. Of course, the most noticeable one is this tiny little hologram of Palpatine when he's telling the clone troopers to execute the Jedi. The time has come. Execute Order 66. Yes, my lord. And even has, I forget what this is called, but it's the way the Empire denotes rank. It's painted really nicely and it's very, very tiny. This pop in general is painted perfectly because when you have a lot of black on white and even this darker orange color on white, any little mistake is going to be extremely noticeable. But everything is done really nicely. Even these little lines on this visor here. Very awesome, man. Not sure if it shows up on camera, but the white is a lot glossier than the orange and the black and the gray. So it does give it that plasticky kind of stormtrooper armor feel to it. Kind of wish that this would swivel in his hand so you can kind of see the front. Um... But other than that, this thing is pretty perfect. And honestly, I think this is one of the best Star Wars pops and one of the best pops of the year so far. Really, really happy that Walgreens came through and didn't destroy this box. All right, now this one is from fellow YouTuber Metal Nerd. I think a lot of you are familiar with him already. 
I've mentioned him several times because we do trade pops, but this time he just found one that he knew I would want and got it for me out of the kindness of his own heart because he's a really cool dude. He's a pop collector as well and tends to make videos about pops he adds to his collection. And he also does some taste tests of like cookies and chips and stuff like that with his daughter who is really cute. They're great videos. So go check him out if you're interested. And you always know this guy is a true pop collector because look at this bubble wrap and a box inside a box absolutely no way that this would get damaged even if my mailman decides to drop kick it like he sometimes does and this is atheon from destiny from the first big raid the vault of glass probably my favorite raid of all of destiny maybe because it was the first and the satisfaction that i got um, by finally beating it with my clan was pretty awesome because, man, it, the first time took us like four to five hours, like I kid you not. But we stuck to it and finally beat Atheon. Um, when I first saw the glams of this guy, I was a little disappointed because Atheon is huge. Um, like, even at six inches, he would be way, way out of scale. Um, but I do think the raid bosses should have been 6 inches. But after I saw actual pictures of him, I thought the paint job was pretty cool. Um, let me take it out so you can see. In the glams, it looks like this whole headpiece is just molded in kind of a boring blue. And like not even painted. But as you can see, it is painted in this like semi-metallic, semi-glossy interesting shade of blue it's really cool it's almost like they got blue and purple and kind of mix it together it's not exactly blue and it's not exactly purple it looks really nice and of course the eye in the middle in that light blue really really stands out lots of interesting little details in the gun and i like the way they painted his body in these different shades because yeah this is a hard character to translate over into pop form. But they did a pretty good job with it. And even though this is a normal size pop, he is pretty big. Like, here he is next to Iron Man. And you can see just exactly how much taller he is. He looks at least an inch taller, maybe even more. So... Yeah, even though they didn't make him 6 inch, it's actually not very disappointing anymore because they did make these bigger and I feel like Oryx and Crota are also going to be a lot bigger than a regular size pop, even though they're in a regular size pop box. So yeah, thanks a lot Metal Nerd Man, that was really cool. I really appreciate you looking out for me and getting this guy because he looks pretty awesome. Oh no. God fucking damn it! Okay, so he doesn't stand, and that makes sense because this protrudes out quite a bit, and his head is heavy. This is a heavy pop. Like, it's definitely at least two times heavier than some of these other ones. So, I guess what you'd do is get some hot water, not super hot, not boiling water, about. About as hot as you would brew tea in. And dip his legs in there. They get soft. And then you can kind of stand him. Find where he gets his balance. Hold his feet down and just kind of bend him back a little bit. Let them cool. And he should be able to stand. Like see just me doing that a little bit. Got him to stand. But he'll eventually fall because he'll go back into place. But with a little bit of hot water you can kind of permanently mold his feet. If you want to display him out of the box. All right, this is one of my eBay ones. You know, it's really unnecessary to tape bubble wrap when it's in there. I mean, when you think about it, if this is in here and he doesn't have this tape on there, how is it going to get unraveled? Like, there's no way that this is going to unravel, go underneath this pop and just unravel. It's, it's really unnecessary to tape this. Sometimes... If there's a whole lot of tape, you can damage your pop just taking the tape off. 
So you got to be careful. So if you're out there and you're going to ship pops or you're going to trade with someone, you don't really need to tape the bubble wrap. It's actually just a waste of time for everybody. But looks like this gazelle from the Kingsman came in great condition. And yeah, she looks pretty awesome. I'm really liking this series. They did a really good job with, you know, human characters that can come out boring. Um, they did a good job making them really interesting looking. Valentine with the glasses. Gazelle in this action pose. I like that they gave Eggsy his dog. And Harry looks awesome. They gave him his glasses, his umbrella. And even in actual pictures, his glasses look like they're tinted a little bit. Like how his glasses in the movie tint. Overall, this line looks really good. And I can't wait to get the rest of them. I have them ordered too. Um, from Hot Topic, I believe. So look out for that. But yeah, she looks really, really cool. I'm going to take her out too. And look how cool she looks. I can already tell that this is going to be one of my favorite pops. They did a good job making this glossy and her pants flat and her belt glossy to make it look like different textures. And look how tiny those little buttons are on her shirt, but they're painted really well. Overall, this is a great mold, instantly recognizable as Gazelle from Kingsman. Got a little bit of weird touch-up paint here, though. That's kind of shitty, but a very small thing, something you hardly notice. They did a really good job on her eyebrows. She does have that mean look to her. Yeah, overall, a pop that's kind of simple besides her legs. Funko did a great job making it very dynamic and eye-catching. Really awesome. Right, so this guy looks like he just went with paper, which is one of my favorite methods of shipping because the paper is enough to protect it from bouncing around. It won't get damaged. And it gives it enough space to move around. Like if this box gets hit on this side and crushes, this pop will just move this way. If you see, there's about an inch here. So half inch all around is good enough to ensure a good pop. And as you can see, this is in great condition as well. I do like that eBay sellers tend to almost always package their pops up really nice. And I rarely get anything damaged from them. I can't even remember the last time I got something actually damaged from an eBay seller. So if you're going to buy from eBay, really, really look at the feedback. See if they're collectors or like if this is coming from a pawn shop or, you know, some kind of shop that isn't specialized in collectibles. If it's not. You know, you might get something kind of damaged because to them, a creased corner, a bent flap, um, a cut in the window isn't a big deal, but to a collector it is. So always make sure you're buying from somebody that either runs a comic book shop or is a collector themselves and are just selling off some of their collection. And yeah, really read that feedback. So um, this one, I, I bought it for really cheap. I think I got it for something like seven or eight bucks with free shipping. And that's pretty cool because this is a really old pop. I want to say it's from either 2012 or 13. I know there's a way to tell on the bottom here with some of these numbers, but I don't know how. If one of you guys do know how to interpret these numbers to know um, what month and what year these came out, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, this is an old pop. So it's kind of hard to find a really good one. Unless I guess it's one that... You know, it's from a new kind of like, I want to say pressing, but whatever they call it when they make a new run of pops. Unless it's from one of those. And I guess that's why I kind of want to know on the bottom here. But yeah, if this is from 2012, obviously it was taken care of. It was in a home of somebody that probably just displayed their pops. Maybe even in pop protectors because, yeah, it looks really good. And her paint job is pretty decent. You can definitely tell this is an older pop because... The eyes are a little bit fuzzy. Hard to tell on camera, but 
in person, they are definitely fuzzier than some of the newer pops. But yeah, still pretty cool looking. And I wanted to get the Evil Queen because I planned on getting the new Snow White and Seven Dwarfs pop. And I really want to get that Chase. And definitely want to have the Evil Queen to go with them. Alright, four really awesome pops. And Cody, I got for, um, I believe, I forget what Cody was on Walgreens, but I think with the shipping and everything, it ended up coming to like 18 or 20 bucks. Very good, because I'm pretty sure that this guy on eBay is going to be expensive. Thanks again, Metal Nerd, for this Atheon. Really appreciate it. Going to be on the lookout for that glittery bell for you. All right, guys, let me know what your experience has been ordering from Walgreens. If you got as lucky as I did, what your experience has been ordering from eBay, whether you're going to try to get that complete set of Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, it's a massive line. It's a lot of money to spend, but personally, I think they look really good. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to brush your teeth at least twice a day. Call your mothers, drink plenty of water, get some exercise, and take it easy.